Um, hello, everyone. I'm honored to show you our team's project here. Our app's name is Unbroomer. It's an application that helps customers to find cleaners. We have five team members to develop this project, and we also have a UI designer. And our developer's name is recently Li Zhenyuan, Yu Shou, Sky Wang Yimeng, Li Ya Li Shuo. Hey, Li Shuo, na? Ah, here. Ah, Jiao Zheng. Ah, Jiao Zheng. Today, 好像他有点事儿，然后他的展示部分那个李硕帮着说，然后还有我徐晨，然后 our UI designer's name is Kelly. And please allow me to briefly introduce our project. So this single application is um, development, uh, development and uh, front-end and back-end separation. And we provide different operation systems and management platforms for clients and business. And we have almost five major models, user management, client management, business management, order management, and command management. And we use modular and component mode development and use scaffolding to create the project, compile and package the project with Bible. Um, let me introduce the technology selections that we use in the front end. The basic framework and library is React. And we use the JSON Web Token to do the authority management. And um, if we have some super important information or secrets, we use .in to save them in the environment variables. About the API, we use the React Facebook login and React Google login to let uh, our clients and business that log in or sign up more easily. And we use React Google Maps can show more details about, um, such as the uh, other details about address. And about the uh, um, front end display, we use CSS, charts, animations. And these 18 packages that we download from the NPM is help us um, let our front end looks more prettier. And we use the date, FNS, and React moment then to help us to do the time management such as on the last time the client or business log in or uh, when they become our members that we can use this. Uh, and uh, something about the data transmission and the format validation. Uh, we do all the format validations uh, such as the fill and the blanks or fill the forms or something like that. And at least we use the is linked and the prettier that let our codes looks more prettier and uh, optimized the format. About the uh, backend, we chose the operating environment is Node, and we use the basic framework is Express. About the data database, we use MongoDB, and the Mongoose is our modeling tools. Uh, as same, uh, we use the JSON Web Token as a source of management, and uh, the dot in to save our super important secrets. About error handling, where you express async errors, and something about the safety. Um, and we use the motor that to allow us to upload some files from our own computers to our website, such as if the um, clients or business wants to change their avatars, we can use this to um, upload some pictures in our computers to our website. Um, but front end and back end interaction, we use the actions and the required methods is posed. Sorry, uh, patch, uh, 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 just uh, give the wrong spoken patch, P A T C H. Post, get, put, patch, delete. And the interface um, test tool we use, post map. Mm. About the responsibility of our team members, all the members are involved in the development. In development of the front end and back end. Um, when we want to review code or test code, uh, we use more than one people to do this job. Um, majorly, um, Vixenly and I focus on the front end and back end framework building. 
routing building a uh, use model you, you sorry user model client model business model developed and at last developed to AWS3 and Heroku Sky and Leah and they focus on other model comment model development and all pages responsive and validation and Zhao Zheng GZ um, all pages responsive animation and testing so um, next our team member will take turns to show you the details of our upset, uh, website so please Li Zhenyuan Hello, everyone. I will illustrate the root structure and the AUXO settings that we use in our website. First, let's let's have a see. Here is the logic diagram of our website form, and made by my cute roommate Lian Li. And from the URL map, we can see there are six public root router, which is the home page, the third page the support page, the login page, and the sign up page. And for the different roles, for business, business and client's roles, we add the protected components to ensure the security of each user. Depending, depend, depending on whether the user is logging or whether it has a right role, we can, the user can move forward to the dashboard. Let's have a look at the example. So here is a, a client roles. After we sign in, uh, it can successfully move on to the, move on its dashboard. And we copy the URL and we'll move to a new page. And we, first we can, we, we need to log out. We can see it will, it will, direct to the login page code. It, it had, in the request, it doesn't have a GWT token in the header. So, and let's move, uh, move, move, move back to the dashboard. In each row, we have nine sub, sub routers of each, uh, each user page profile. First is the dashboard, the order management, and the setting part, which consists of the account, the password, and the notification ma message. So the thing we have done is that, um, I'm sorry, uh, let's move on. <laughs> Let, he, he, let's move on back to the API. Uh, in terms of the community with the backend, there is our API folders. We've, uh, and we can see using the defect, default axios, we add the tokens in the headers to give each request. And in the request, request folder, we use the new axios, which to ensure that each request have with GWT token. And here is the method of each method, uh, method of each, each function. So the other thing that I want to mention in the authorization is about the, we use the double check on the user ID when uh, submit a request. Sorry, I, I just, uh, so we can see there is a user ID in the URL and we change some numbers after clicking on that it will have the error message, which is sent back from the backend, which means that the, the front end user ID and the request to user ID is not the same. So um, that's all that I want to mention. So uh, I will move on to my team, Lin Li, and she will show you more detail about our website. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Leah, and today I will show you if uh, you are not logged in, uh, how the Broomer, our website, will uh, deliver to you. Uh, the Firstly, we go to the na uh, navigation par uh, bar. Uh, here you can get the uh, service link, and then you can go to the service uh, pages with, without login. And uh, if you want to choose any um, service here, for example, end of lease cleaning, uh, cleaning, and then you click it, it will uh, redirect you to the login page. 
And here you can log in your, for example, if you are trying to log in. Sorry, my network is very slow, sorry. Okay, and then uh, you, you can post your task directly. And okay, I will log out for now because I will show you if you are not logged in, how you can do. Okay, then we can go to the support uh, page, uh, page. And here we provide a lot of text to help you. For example, if you want to, uh, uh, you want to get some cleaning service, it will direct you to the service uh, pages. And the one more thing here uh, what I want to mention is uh, if you are not logged in, here we'll get the link to log in. But if you have uh, you have already logged in, sorry, if you you have already logged in, here we'll uh, show you one photo like uh, avatar here. And if you click the avatar here, and you will uh, directly go to the uh, client or business operating system. And one more thing is here the post task uh, uh, button. Uh, no, uh, uh, without, uh, without logging, here is the post task button. If you click it, it will let you to log in. Um, if you go back to the home page, and if you have already logged in and you are a client, you, the role of you is client, and here will show you post task as well. But if you are a business, the role of uh, the user is business, it will show you browse all tasks because post the task is the most important uh, function for um, uh, for clients and the broad all tasks is the most important for business. So that is uh, how that uh, the button to toggle here. And then we go to the section, uh, the first section. Um, here I will refresh the page to let you see the animation. Uh, we use the CSS uh, uh, keyframe here to like uh, like the title and uh, the text to move from uh, move in from the left and the right, and then we use the React Water Wave package uh, to make this uh, homepage uh, looks cool. And uh, if you click or move your uh, move the mouse over the the image and uh, the, the water will wave. And uh, another thing is here, uh, the button, if you click here, it will direct you to the client sign up page and back to the home page. Okay. Okay, then uh, when you scroll down, you will see the, the second uh, section uh, just uh, fit in once it enters this view. We use the React Animate on Screw package to do that. And uh, this section show you why you choose Rumor to, uh, to do uh, your task. And next section is, uh, is the category, uh, category of the service. If you click any of these services you need, it will direct you to uh, login page. If you log in, then you can post your task. Okay, just back to the phone. And it's the gallery to show all of our uh, registered business partners here. And uh, here we fetch all business data from our database. And if you click this button here, it will load more business. Uh, every single time it will load more, uh, 10 more business here. And we also use very cool animation here is, um, it, uh, the package name is animate CSS grade package. And to, uh, to, for, uh, to let this, uh, if for example, I click this um, grade part and it will move animate very gracefully. And uh, uh, we also toggle between this small business and the photo name only card to uh, large detailed business card. Uh, 
for example, you click it, you will get more information about this business. And if you, another thing I need to mention it uh, is here. Uh, we also did the uh, authorization, uh, authorization, sorry, authorization control for this part uh, because all of uh, uh, non-login users can uh, can see the business gallery here. So uh, if you are not logged in, you cannot get the contact details for the business. But if you log in, I show you here. If you log in here, for example, you are a client. All right. Uh, we just back to the home page. We'll see. See, you can get more information for this business, including the contact details. That um, we do this just to want to protect ourselves because if you are not logged in user and you can get the contact details, you probably you will uh, contact the business uh, personally and <laughs> we will lose the client or business. Uh, we will lo lose to you uh, because you choose to do the business uh, individually. So that is why here we do the authorization control here. Uh, now, uh, next to the section is our achievements. And uh, here we use the uh, React vis uh, Visibility sensor, sensor package to control the number uh, to counting up uh, until we screwed up here. And we also um, made this video here and to uh, show some, uh, for example, uh, animation. And uh, at the end, the bloomer it just showed up. Okay, next section is how it works. Okay, in this section, uh, we uh, we will show you if you are a client, uh, what you can do here. And firstly, you need to post your task, and then you can compare your quotation uh, with a business and uh, then you can get your job done and give them some reviews or rating. And uh, here we use rotated, uh, ro rotate Y CSS uh, function and, and also uh, some CSS tricks like transition delay uh, to, to flip this card as well as tick the list one by one. Okay, here is the button. That is access you can register your business. So if you want to register your business uh, in our website and, and get the earn some money here, you can use this button and you can get registered. Okay, finally, uh, you can see here, we also use another package named Re uh, React Particles and to make these bubbles, uh, just uh, moved around and just the underneath the every single layers of every single page. All right, okay. Last uh, thing I will show you is uh, the responsive uh, we have done for our website. Um, here is the, how it looks like in our mobile end. Uh, firstly, navigation bar, we use this uh, little menu to show our uh, service report back to the home and the sign up page here. and the achievement and how it works. And if you, that is the responsive design for the poster task page. Okay. Uh, then uh, Xu Chen will show you if you have already logged in, uh, how it will look. Uh, and how our website will do for you. Thank you.
So let me introduce something about login. Login and sign in. So first, uh, we create an account. So we have two forms to create an account. Um, one form, this form is for the user information collection. And the, uh, the next page will be the client or business page collection because at a, at a, the back end, we have two collections. One, is, um, mod one model is user and one model is a client or business. One user can find only one, uh, one row. So if you are a user, you just can be one row. Uh, for, um, if you are a client, you can't be a business in one user. So in this part is collection, the user information. And uh, this part, if I click on the exist user, you can see we have some validations. I must fill all the blanks. Here you can see, um, because Benny is our client and this username is, is it exists. So um, the backhand is forbidden ever to sign up with this name. But um, when I click the continues, we don't submit all the information to the backhand because if I quit, I just quit. Um, so I, 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 I don't, create a client. I, I just create a user. So this um, this is a waste. So in this step, we only just check the user is already exist or not. So if I So the second firm is about our client information. And then we click sign up. We at the back end, we create user form and client form at the same time. And we bind user form and client form. So this is a total fresh new dashboard. So we don't have any orders and we, I don't sign any orders and we don't have any new orders and I don't have any uh, favorite cleaners. And this is linked to the order management. So if I'm not a fresh new um, users, I can see a lot of things that I done with the orders. Um, in this dashboard, we can use these buttons to pose any new tasks. And in this account, we can do account settings, such as I can change the first name, the last name, and here I can, because the avatar now is default, I, I don't like this one. So I can choose an image that I can replace it. And then all the information is uploaded. And I can do something about change password. And here I need to show something about Login and uh, sign in with our um, API, Google and Facebook. So, um, for example, I log in. Uh, sorry, I sign up. Um, I can get data from the Google sign up, um, Google client, sorry, the Google API or the Facebook API. And I use the Google's name for the username. Google's email for this email and Google's password, sorry, not, not password, Google's ID for our password. So if I sign up, it led me to choose my account. And then I can fill the data. But because I already sign up this Google, so here, the user is already exist, but I can change to the login page. I can log in with Google. Yeah. So I can go to the dashboard. And for the Facebook, 
because the Facebook requires that we must use the HTTP or not, uh, we must use HTTPS, um, no HTTP, because um, HTTP is believed that it's not very safe. So he can't give us um, the permission, but at localhost 3000, we can do this. But if we use Facebook, yeah, just give this. But we can use it, and I can test it in local 3000, and it, it works. Um, and about business sign up, it's a little bit different from, sorry, business sign up is a little bit different from our client sign up. Um, the first part is almost the same. Um, so here are more details. It's business name, address, postcode, telephone number, and ABN number. All of these forms are validation. And uh, all of them will save into the database and you can sort these messages on the business details in our homepage or in our dashboard. So if I log in with a business account, You can see all the loading spinner is all the data, uh, all the data is from our database. And here you can see all orders and see all the new tasks. Unfinished tasks and complete tasks or something so on. And here you can see the latest users component. If the orders status is done, um, the the clients can leave a component, uh, sorry, can leave a um, comment. And for the business, they can sort the comment. And if you click the order ID, you can see all the information detail. Profile, you can see all the profiles information that is collection by the login process. And this is the all the um, clients comments that from database. And the account and the password setting is almost the same as the clients. So that's the login part and sign up part. And uh, about the others information, please last guy to tell us more. Thanks. Okay, for the other part, let's start from the client side. About orders, we have two major functions, post and manage orders. You can place a new order from here. I bathrooms, if it's an end of lease or not, and you can choose anything you want to clean. And also you need to enter a location here. Uh, if you enter something in rele relevant and Post a task, it will show the location is invalid. And here I'm gonna use 100 Street as an example. And also you need to choose when you, you want it to be done. Otherwise, you're gonna show an arrow and tell you to choose a due date. And for this part, you can just put something you, uh, for example, use special needs or you can just leave it empty. And here you can see the estimate price here. And if you change your order, the price will change accordingly. And you can price post my task. And it will return the, the order information you just placed. You can see the location from the Google map. 
and it's like 100 and straight. Uh, you can see it's, the, it's from database. And in this page, you can cancel your order, your all edit order. If you press edit order, if you change your mind, and if you want your windows need to be clean, just simply clean the button. And you can change your address as well. All this question. And the price will change accordingly. And the price update my order. You will see the, the information already updated. The location, this window, this and description and also you can change you can cancel your order and it gave you a second chance to to think if you really want to cancel the order and if you confirm your order will change to cancel by client and at this stage you can't do anything to this order anymore and for this part the real business part because the order hasn't been taken by any business. So it's gonna left empty. And you can manage your orders here. There are five status order status. Placed orders, orders canceled by client, assigned orders, order canceled by business, and complete orders. Uh, the place order page has been shown just then. I'll skip and order canceled by client uh, is the same page and you can't do anything. For the assigned orders, it means your order was accepted by some business. And you can see there, you can see it taken by a business, business name. And if you click view business, you will see the information, contact numbers, address, and is all the information is from database. And after the order was accepted, you can choose if the order is done or not. If you click order is done, the status will change to complete. And at this stage, you can choose to leave a comment or not. If you're happy, you can choose five star, and or if you're not happy, you choose one star. And the good is just a default default value. If you can like say something you like. And you can submit. And now this button changes to view your comment. And you can view your comment here. And you cannot change your order after if after the order was accepted by business, or you you cannot cancel it. And you cannot change the order which are already canceled. All the order logic is controlled on the API server as well. Let's go to the business part. And on business side, after login, there are also two major functions, browse our tasks and order management. From here, you can see all the new place tasks. And you can see the location on the Google map accordingly. And you can just choose a new order. And as a business, which is different from the client, you can accept order. Only business can accept or order. After you accept order, the status will change to assign. And at this stage, you can cancel your order or you can leave there. If you cancel your order, you need to confirm before it's actually been canceled. And if you cancel your order, 
you cannot change it anymore. For every request from the front end, the API server will do the authorization and ID check to make sure you have the legal token, just like um, uh, our teammates already show you. And all the data are from database. All the canceled orders will be kept. This is for the future development. If a user canceled too many orders, his rating will be decreased. That's all about our project today. In the future, we're gonna work on developing notifications and message pages at the business groups with higher rating will have the priority to be shown on the front page. And we also got the domain name set everything on the cloud front Roth 53 on AWS each day. But it seems to be that it needs 48 hours to be active. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.你们感觉 就不管做的项目好坏,真心的感感谢三位老师,然后还有我们的老板,谢谢。